We'll do the next scenario for AO Redone for 1941. Uh, we are a fairly small map. There's a, quite a few bunched up units that we're not quite a, uh, aware of as yet over there to the uh, northwest of the screen. There's um, a provocateur tank here backed up by a, probably a camouflaged anti-tank gun, I think. There's another nasty provocateur infantry hero down here. There's a lot of anti-air guns about. Uh, the British are on the run. Uh, so it, We'll start off with easy pickings, but then we end up with some fairly challenging uh, defensive organizations we need to break. But uh, it, it's certainly doable. We're going to take the 109Z parts. And we'll see which outstanding level hero uh, Gemini gives us. All right, I p cut and pasted that list. We will remove Scavenger here. Again, at some point, uh, I'm going to I'm going to get a phased movement or uh, consolidator. Hopefully, that's right now. I see. Well, I'm not going to complain about that either. It's a very useful hero. I deducted the 5K. Let's take the hero. I, I, I'm pretty sure that we're going to get Rudel. I'm sure of it. Uh, shortly. Uh, the problem is, is we also have these these 109 Z parts, which marry very well to Rudel. We only have 19 of them, unfortunately. With all the anti-air on this unit, uh, on this board, there's a lot here. I'll just uh, and there's a, a couple here. You can saw through most of those parts. Uh, before you even blink an eye uh, and without the double move hero or phased movement I don't really want to even deploy the thing because I'll, I'll, I'll lose parts I, I know the way that I play and the way I am I'll just throw them out there and and then I'll be <clears throat> wondering where all my limited uh, stock 109 Z parts went uh, so until I get that double move or a phased movement here I'm, I'm not even going to bother with it I outfitted um, quite a few flame tanks. Let's see what's I deployed. Um, four flame tanks, five flame tanks. These um, flaming ones here have the lightning attack. Uh, this one, I believe, has nothing. You have uh, this one does indeed have the uh, steamroller trait. You don't as yet, but he's he's close. And then these are actually a fair ways along. Uh, Ten and 11 here so then the, the rest are about the same I think I took um, some of the Air Force off the field and put this uh, camouflaged anti-tank out uh, put him close he can't move very far in attack so I think there's a Matilda tank here somewhere but it's it's fairly deep in it this thing will probably be useless but really who knows uh, this is going to be uh, the main workhorse. This should get quite a bit done with the double and lethal. And go after some anti air or whatnot. We'll see what happens. Okay, so we have a minefield. And we have 15 points. Is it true? 14.992 is true. Well, how about. Well, we can take that out. Go and I'll put it to you as well. Like that. And then um, let's see. What I say we can't do it even if we want. We don't have force march. We don't. We don't. This uh, it's not going to get much done there. We have one round left. And Ten or fifteen there. Let's see, or we can um, proceed down here for 10. You've got to assume there's a camouflaged anti-tank right there. So, anti-tank does not, it's not there. Oh, well. All right, so, off we go here. I think we, oh, so, okay. We want to surrender you or just straight overrun him. Okay, 
so we can go here. Yep. Oops. Well, <clears throat> there's this, and then there's that. Surrender that guy. Let's see how far we can get you in. Far enough, it would seem. Can go and uh, surrender one of these units there. Let's see how much these guys are worth. 180, 286, 230, 20, or whatnot. How about you? 140. Six, three, seven, and two. Well, let's take this thing out here just because. <clears throat> so we can attack you or you. Can you go anywhere? Apparently can go on to the river there. All right, so you are out of rounds. We can move this guy like so. The other half of our recon car. Proceed um, with the other half of that recon car and take this the air out, encircling us for a moment. Okay, so we can take you as a true. Yep. You know, you know. Ah, yes, though. We'll grab an overrun. We need six more. Looks as though we can take another overrun here. Close enough. We can proceed. Um, let's see, four, seven. That's not going to do it. How about you? Provocative. No. So we'll go here, overrun you. Here over on you. That should get us halfway home at least for our rewards. We need three more. This one can attack into the close <coughs> and will. Our rounds there now. May as well overrun you. Two points, five points, two points, eight points. Where's our other recon car? There's one here, I'm sure of it. So if we move forward, we can put six points in you, get him out of the way, overrun him here, overrun you. Vigilant here, we can go, um, okay, we'll just stay like that, one point, one point, three points, we'll go like that, move forward here, get like that, six points. Three points twice works. Down there, overrun you. Let's see. One and three, uh, seven. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be a lot of action to be had here. Drop on this guy here. Where's our other recon car? I think we can surrender him. He 
is here. No, no. Six and zero, one and two. One and two it is, we'll take that. That leaves this guy. Zod and seven, four and eight. Well, <clears throat> let's go down here, we'll apply some reconnaissance. Six. Are you? Um, he has steamroller. We could take. We could go right here. Uh oh. I see. We can take to the uh, swamp. No one will get. No one will get there. And we have one round left to scare off the, the infantry. And if an armored unit comes up, this thing's camouflaged. They'll be in for a surprise, at least in theory. And there's this one guy. There's always one guy. Always one guy left. Four and seven. Hmm. I don't think there's any way to get that guy. Could, uh... Could do a great many things. Take some damage. We'll probably do away with them. Why should I? Why should I do it? He's not going to cause any trouble. We don't need to take any damage. We're happy enough. We we'll go down here. And we'll go and find out what goes on over here. There's that. Uh, Provocateur tank, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Provocateur ambusher and ferocious defense. Let's paint him uh, that color there. I think there's going to be an anti tank behind him, I'm pretty sure. Once our recons get up there, we'll, um, we'll surely find out what's there. Let's see what goes on here. I think this guy is a provocateur as well. Brigadier Vossi. He sure is. This guy can push non-close units into the close terrain and all sorts of havoc can come from this unit. Uh, let's see what goes on here, nothing. We'll find out what goes on here. Have some uh, convoy units and then here, nothing. Okay, so um, imagine this guy will attack. Um, who will he attack? One of those two units. If he attacks this one, he's, he's uh, going to take some damage, that's for sure. This one, not so much so. Okay, I think that's going to do it. Next turn. I think one of these has lethal. One of the ones on the southwest. Have steamrollers yet? You do. Well, that's good. We can carry on with our attacks. Let's see. We can uh, zomp you. I'm gonna waste all of my heavy infantry. Two of seven. Not as yet fully entrenched. How about you? Three of ten GB infantry. Four of nine, I see. Hmm. Three of fifteen. Is it real? Fourteen point nine nine, what not? Yeah, it is. 
let's do that. We'll split this half here. Go down here with our no retaliation man and surrender this guy while the surrendering is good. Okay, so we've gotten some prestige for our troubles. Let's see what else we have available. Uh, hmm. We can move. Uh, we could have moved the end tank. How about you? Ten points. Three, five. We'll take ten there as well. Swing the end tank up here. There. Uh, hmm. We can get an overrun here. We can. So you do not. You have steamroller. You do not. You need two more. What if we could pound, bombard that guy to oblivion? This this artillery piece, three and five, three and six. Hmm. I think with aiming assistance we could get uh, the required dose on that anti-air unit. That'd make my life at least it could have made it easier, I suppose. Oh, it's gone now. Let's see here. Can bomb this guy as well, why not? We can bomb this guy here as well. We could have gotten an overrun here. We sure could have. Maybe we still can, who knows. We can't. Well. We can't, we'll live through it though. guy will retreat as well, I bet. Hmm. How about you? Let's go forward here. Pop that unit. Lit up that anti-tank. Any hero? Double support to nation. Okay, so... The good news is we're going to be able to bomb this anti-tank with impunity beginning next turn. So let's uh, let's light this area up here again. Let's light you up as well. Prepare that and uh, let's see. Let's not do anything um, hasty here. Let's see. We can go. Um, Put our vigilant hero here right up in the enemy's face. He's vigilant, right? He is, yeah. Why not put him right here? Why not put him there? Do we have backup? Not so much right now, but next turn I think we can. Which means maybe we'll go right here. Pull back here. Swing um, <clears throat> this unit um, down here. We'll get this anti tank around to support this uh, vigilant dual support unit. Uh, we can go here to what end, really? In theory, they can't make it there. So, why not do it? We can go. Um, And go down here and and 
then, um, hmm. Sort of a roadblock here. There's all sorts of opportunities, but not. Well, let's go right here. That's it next turn. Too many units, unit clutter. We're blocking ourselves or boxing ourselves out. Too many units. And so there is an anti-tank here. It happens to be raining. And uh, that's a provocateur unit, so we would not want to attack this unit. But there's nothing wrong with um, a bit of surrender activities. Let's see here. Uh, we can get an overrun. No, we can't because we'll get provocatized. We'll go down here. We can overrun this guy. Surrender. Let's bombard this guy. Putting the end tank down. Zero seven, but we'll end up here and get hosed badly, badly. Will this guy attack? He could, he could. Let's roll down here, see, see if he wants some. right here it's a nice sunny day out tomorrow no rush we can go down to this road here find out what goes on AU infantry four of seven yeah, two of seven yeah so there's no way to um, be done with that guy unless we overrun him. Unless we overrun him with our tank that has no business in the close. Overrun this guy here like so. Our Alpine man is doing well by us here. Um, over Oladir and uh, Edward Deedle. And uh, this provocateur unit here is not going to action himself. 18 and 8. Okay, so we're still taking quite a bit of damage. Let's see, are you uh, cruiser mark whatnot here? Let's see if we can go and surrenderize one of these guys. 6 of 10. And we'll go um, proceed in this direction. Let's see here. Tenacious Defender, Tank Killer, Precision Weapon. That may be all good and well. Auto Surrender. Boom. Alright, so... Let's see what goes on here. If we were to, say, go down here... ...and move our Vigilant Support Tank here... I don't really see how really terribly bad things will happen to us. I can't see it at all, in fact. Nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. Because this has a dual support artillery and anti-tank. This guy, he'd have to go. He can't do it either. He can't get here. Which means we may as well go um, bring our flame tank here. And that's that. Anybody need uh, healing? You could use some. You could use some repairs. And that's the turn.
Oops. <clears throat> well, there went that for a Perhaps I put too much faith in my support uh, H-Tank, I think it is. H-Tank, yeah. Speaking of H-Tank, I wonder if we have any new units that we can upgrade. Let's see here. Nothing there, nothing, uh, nothing. We have these Z parts, and then nothing. So I have three upgrades, I'm not sure what to upgrade, really. In theory, we have that J tank. I could plop a field repairs. Let's see, anyone here? Not really, no. there's nothing to upgrade. I suppose this unit here could upgrade to this um, Pack 38 or a Stub 3F. We have these prototypes. Why not do it? We'll do that. We have more. Let's see if these are all... This one needs an upgrade to F variety there. F, 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 F. And then this plane here, I suppose, could upgrade there. I'm not sure that's exactly an upgrade, but that's what happened. Let's see, this guy, this provocateur, he attacked our recon plane and took a horrendous amount of fire. That's unfortunate for him, really. As he's now gone, and that means that we have unfettered access to this lot right here. Let's see, 14 points. We can go right here. Drop a, a bomb on this guy. Boom. So what do we have here? Six of ten. Do we have another bomber? We do. I think we can surrenderize the supersized six inch or Supersized bonus of uh, prestige. Let's see. Four points. That should get uh, quite a bit. 866. Yep. A bunch. 500. Let's see here. Can we overrun you? It looks as though we can do it. You can go like this. Roll down and hmm. How much prestige are you worth? 504. How far does he move? Not very. All we need to do is make sure he doesn't entrench very far. His entrenchment level presently is 2 of 7, so at the minimum value. And you? How much are you worth? 240, not nearly as much. That guy. I sort of want to stay away from. We can go here, move our vigilant support tank on the hill, and heal you up for 2 or whatnot. Go right here. These guys are going to... What are they going to do? They're going to take its exception to that recon car, I'm sure, but... 17 and 2. 16 and 2. The problem is if they move him... Uh, how will they move him? This guy could step up turn anti-tank and do a horrendous amount of damage, but he has this bomber, which means he probably won't do that. Oh, look at that. We can take that guy completely out of the equation. Unfortunately, now we 
some stuff there. Hmm. I suppose what of it, really? We're in, not in a close, so I don't think these infantry are going to do much of anything. Let's get out of this area. We need overruns, but there's really nothing. Well, this is overrunnable, I suppose. This guy's stuck there. Nothing will happen to him. The end tank, we need uh, this um, to disappear. Can go like that. Two points. Move the end tank forward there. We'll get you like so. This is a hill. We're happy there. Let's recon this area here. Grab a couple points there. I think we'll call it a turn. Now he's not overrunnable. He bombarded us with artillery. Don't move, don't move! He's done it. If he moves now, there's nothing that can get him relative to infantry. Was that uh, the best of ideas? Uh, not really, no. But, let's see what we have now. We have um, surrenderable um, units on board. Let's see who's worth the most. AU, AU, and AU. How about you? 250, what not? You, 149. You, 216. 7, 6... Let's, um, in theory, we can go over here, surrenderize you, we get awards points, close combat awards, let's do that. Here, we'll get you back here. This is our vigilant support tank. So go forward there. These guys are happy there. We're happier here. Let's get out of here. Sixteen points, let's see what we get. Thirteen ten. We can surrender one of these guys, I think. N Z infantry, HW infantry. Four and three. I see. We can overrun this guy. Done it, I think. That should be steamroller. It's not. One more. Let's get up uh, up here. There's nothing here. I played this scenario a couple of times. We could go and reconnoiter it with our air force, but uh, there's not a lot of point. There's plenty of time left. Let's see, we can go and um, take this airfield, swing forward here, overrun you, can redeploy you here, 
We have a dirt airfield. We, we can't move our bombers forward, but I don't think it really matters. We'll get this recon forward here as well. The rest of those recons can wait. You um, go forward here. You can heal up there or not. Strange truck there, a cargo truck. Bomb him. Next turn. <clears throat> All right, we'll take over. No, no, no. <clears throat> we'll take over the city. So, repair, and uh, go right here, let's say. We'll find out what goes on here, there, let's go here, there, here, there, here. Let's get out of this area. Out of range, I see. Ten and Zot. Ten and Zot. Uh, we can um, move you up, take the enemy's airfield, move our artillery piece forward. This guy wants to come up and makes it through our zone of control. He'll be provocatized. That's that. Next turn. Go here. There. We'll check this area thoroughly before going on to the close. This guy can move quite some ways. Move our readiness end tank in front there. Let's see if we can uh, put some de entrench this guy and uh, get some ignores entrenchment damage in as well. This guy should provocatize himself to oblivion. And that's about the size of that next turn. He did. Alright, it's raining. I think that's that. Some captured equipment. Next turn. Next turn. That is that. Let's see what's next. Crete, Crete. I usually skip Crete. Uh, I'm going to invade it for the hero. I may well just not invade it. Just take the hero and move on it. There's, um, I don't know how it is in the AO Redone mod, but I played it in the base game. I, th I think one of these is up on the um, the base game playlist I have. I, I just don't uh, relish the moving all of my infantry, my heroes about for this one scenario and then moving them all back. 
which is usually the reason that I skip it. Let's see if it's how different it is in, in this one. We can take some special bombers that we don't really uh, want and take an outstanding officer, but well, whatever, we'll take him and then give him back. What's the map here? Let's see. It looks like a by and large the same uh, sort of thing. I'm not really sure that I want to do it. Um, let's let's find out what hero we get. Well, why not do it? Really, the strikes first has, has put me perhaps in the mood to rearrange some heroes. I, there's no rush to finish and get to 43 or 40, 42, uh, 40 whatnot, etc. So why why should I be in a rush and just put the game down for? X amount of time and then get in the mood for hero shuffling again, I suppose. Uh, we have a lot of strikes first heroes. Um, we have a fair bit of, like, not terribly experienced units, but they get around. Let's see how many strikes first heroes we have. We have three, and we have uh, two hit and runs. We have a hero that all the deer adds to initiative. Uh, then the auto surrender heroes, uh, you can plop them on a, on a uh, paratrooper and uh, do some serious surrendering down here as well. So uh, let's do that next time. I hope to see you.